I just had just had some uh, refreshing water to deal with me throat issue that I'm having. And you know what water is not refreshing? All this water. This water is evil. Evil killing water. What's up? It's the Down the Gamer. And time for some Civ Beyond Earth with those dang Kraken. There's like four or five of them now. At first there was one, then we moved like one tile, and then we saw two, which that was great. And then we got by those two, only to find out that there was a third, all around, all in this same area. And to make it worse, then we came over here and found out there's actually another one. Lots and lots of Kraken. Anyway. Right, and our gunboat got killed by some sea dragons. Which is why I should probably make sure that my gunboats are always in at least pairs. Having them by themselves is probably not a good idea. Right, also the fact that we researched the wrong thing. Research augmentation instead of robotics. Because we're, we're, we're clever like that. Oh, great. You couldn't just let them make it to land. You had to take them out. God damn. There's so much damn water in this friggin' planet. It's almost like Earth. Ugh. Ugh. It's horrible. I want to try and take out this guy, so I'm trying to move this guy into a position that can do that. Unfortunately, it would appear there's too much other crap in the road. Ugh, pardon me. That was the water saying hello again. Okay, right. So here's the thing, I probably should have left my rover where it was. I moved it in, hoping I could try and attack. But I probably should have just left it where it was, so... So now I have to move back and wait for the siege worm to go away again. Even with my other guy here now, I still can't... Still can't get to that damn nest. All I want to do is find out. If it's like the barbarians, like with their camps. That worm, though, is causing so much problems. Not as much problems as the Kraken, but still. We're not really making progress anywhere here. Okay, so they're attacking our boat still. Our oh, are you kidding me? Why now? My boats are like really weak as well. They're like really damaged. Hmm. I could change the origin city. So if the trade vessel can't make it to here, then that's what I'll try doing. Bloody hell, worm! Did you just pop up then? I was I was like I was too busy looking down here at the time. Okay, no, I think the worm's always been there. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, we can make it to Janali. Excellent. Wait, really? You ha you're going to go all the way round. Also, annoyingly, I... D eh. Eh. It won't go left. Fine, we'll, we'll take the long way. Why? Why can't you just go through here? Is it because it's not explored? I mean, come on. Ugh. I really don't want to have to go all the way around. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Where's a boat? Or explorer? Do I have any explorers nearby? Doesn't look like it. Okay. 
I guess I could have this guy head over. Might take him a while. Yeah. He's healed up enough, I think. Alright, well here's the thing. He does need healing. But at the same token, it's like... He could do more damage if I do that. Tell you what, I'll come back to that guy. And what I'll do is I'll see how much damage I can do with this guy. So let's come back over here. He's gonna die if he gets attacked. I'm not sure how much that's gonna heal though. Like how many hit points do I have? Okay, here we are. Okay, so that would put him fairly close to full health. I really want to actually, I want, I want him to have more damage, but I guess there's no good having more damage if you're dead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to heal him because I'm pretty sure that this guy will attack him. He probably, he, he probably not gonna attack him. So I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to heal. And now... Oh, he's in range of that guy, so I should probably move him somewhere. Let's move him out here. Okay, Missile Rover! Oh, great. More aliens have spawned. Well... On the plus side, it means my marine should be able to attack and not have to worry. Okay, so the trade vessel, I guess I could move it, yeah that's what I'll do, I'll move it to a different city. Where should we move it to? I could move it to Janali. Or maybe to Thabo? I think I'll move it to Thabo. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's change Origin City to Thabo. Actually, maybe Megan would be better. I don't really think it makes too much difference. Let's just go Megan. Okay. So now we can build something. Uh, Vivarium gives us some food. I'm gonna assume we've already built a clinic. Do we have anything else here that helps health? I guess we'll go with the Vivarium. Janali has grown. Okay, so we uh, built the the trade vessel before. Okay, so let's see. Network is a science from copper. It also gives us some culture. The mind stem helps us towards a transcendence victory. Uh, that's not really useful. That gives us some science. Let's go with the laboratory, or laboratory, however it's pronounced. Okay. What are they doing? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So they were getting attacked by the bugs that were there. It took them a while to kill them. 
Okay. So I'm gonna have my explorer head over that way. Now I actually get to kill one of these guys for once. And now this gunboat is basically dead. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep these guys together. And we're gonna head back, uh, head, take the long way around, try and see if I can get back to base. Because we're not really doing much here, like, it's not really helping us really in any way. So I'm going to have them head back round. Okay, Missile Rover is out of range. That's annoying. I wonder. Will that use up my turn? Like, if I go there, will I be able to move again? Or will I be, like, screwed? You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. That was not worth it. I mean, it does stop the aliens coming. That's why there was so much Kraken. It makes sense now, because um, it's right next to the coast. So that's why the Kraken are getting produced from it. Makes sense. Okay, so my marines sacrificed themselves in order to stop the Kraken threat. Well to stop any more Kraken getting made. Well, at least here. There's probably like another nest somewhere. But at least this area should now only have the Kraken that's already there. It also means there's not going to be any more aliens here, so we can slowly kill them off. Uh, who needs orders? Uh, right, the trade vessel. Which can't do anything yet, because I need someone to explore like this one tile. That's basically the only reason it takes the long way round, is because it needs that one tile. I wonder, if I set it to trade, like, with, um, with Janali, like, it will take the long way, but once I, like, um, have an explorer go there, will it change its route and take the shorter way, or will it keep going the long way? Not sure, but for now, I prefer not to have to find out. Can I reach him? Nope. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this guy across. So that way I can still attack the worm when it lands there. But then I can also attack the kraken if need be. Uh, so I think that's our open borders has expired. Oh wait, no, that's our other one. The the like uh, cooperation one where where we're like yeah we got each other's back kind of thing <clears throat> so the marines are as gone. adam smith said trade is the lifeblood of nations as who said adam adam smith is that what she said i have no idea who that is this looks fair i'm pleased to accept is that what I said, or is that what she said? Well, lady, in case you haven't realized, they started it. Dirty Krakens, but they took us out. Not to mention we got attacked by aliens for no reason. No way. Pardon me, I may be able to assist you. They survived. Also, some infinity progress. Awesome. That means we should be able to upgrade something. Progress begins with someone saying, there has to be a better way to do this. Wait, did we... Up we leveled up twice. Wait, did we? I think... I think we did. Yeah, we leveled up twice. Probably because we took the uh, alien nest. In that case, we should definitely try and take more nests when we can. Looks like we have some idle covert agents. To be honest, I think we should recruit defectors. That way I don't actually have to build 
Like, I don't have to build the units because I just take them from other people. Alright. So, looks like we... Okay, so, when when I can, I will hack the satellites. Not because I really care about hacking the satellites. But because, for one, um, one of the quests was to... Uh, do a level 4 intrigue thing. So, we'll do that when I can. In the meantime, let's get some defectors. Yeah, so when this one is done in five turns, we'll uh, hack the satellites. Okay, so let's slowly move. Keep them near each other. Oh right, I have to set up. I keep forgetting that it doesn't it doesn't do it for you. You have to set up and then attack. Okay, so we're gonna have our explorer heading towards that little area. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the gunboat there because I don't want them to get I want I want these guys to stick together. Pack mentality. Oh right, I forgot to uh, forgot to click thank you. This game's teaching your manners. It won't go away until you say thank you. Uh, right, so we do have um, the upgrade to do in a moment. So we'll do that in just a moment. Ooh, what's this? Free maintenance and plus one movement for worker units. Alright. May as well. There's no point doing the launch complex because we don't have satellites, so yeah, sure. That'll be our first wonder, I think. I don't think we've built any other wonders. Alright, time to upgrade so we can upgrade the rangers. We don't have any ranges at the moment. I should probably build some. That way, this will actually be useful some. Okay, so let's see. They'll be stronger then. Yeah, that means... Yeah, we should definitely do some ranges because they'll be better than the... In fact, I should... Pr cause, yeah, like the missile, ro the missile rover has to set up first. So the ranger is probably going to be a better option. But then again, the uh, missile rover is more of a siege unit anyway. Okay, so select a perk. What can we do? We can... Plus 5 HP health when not embarked. So I'm pretty sure what that means is like when they're in heal mode that they will heal quicker. I think that's what it means. And plus 30% uh, I'm gonna assume that's plus three percent strength when defending against ranged. Yeah, I think I'll think I'll go with that one. Right, so two more, and then we can get the gunboat upgraded. I would definitely like that. So. It looks like at the moment we're going to be heading towards the Arbiter and the Vindicator. As for the Missile Rover, we'll be doing the Educator and the Ambassador. 20% when attacking cities. Can't move after attacking. Oh, can move after attacking. All terrain costs one movement. Levitates over the land and sea. So, Ranger, we got the Overseer and the Executor. Disciple and the Apostle. They all look kind of similar, but, you know, they've all got little differences. <clears throat> so, what we got here? Awesome. We stole some 
some uh, technology. It's good. <clears throat> oh, right. I was wondering what's going, what was going on then. It was just other people. I don't have uh, the the um the fighter jets, do I? I think that's what I get if I once I do robotics. Yeah. Yeah. So once we get the robotics, which is almost done, uh, we'll be able to get the fighter jets. Trader vessel, which I'm gonna hold off from using just yet. Okay, so we're gonna very cautiously travel the water. Okay, missile river should be able to do a little bit of damage. Not much, but with any luck. We might eventually take them down enough. They'll just probably swim off though, so won't be able to do much there. Right. Well, at least one stuck around for now. Robots do not complain, question, or rest, which makes them good role models for the rest of you. Interesting. Don't want to sound racist or anything, but of course it was said by a Russian. At least I'm pretty sure that's a Russian name, right? Axioms from the minutes of the Central Directorate. Radio. So before we look at our research, let's just continue on our way. Go Rover! You s you you annoy those Kraken, because that's all you're doing. You're annoying them. You're not actually really injuring them at all. Right. So. Research. Okay, so now we've finally done that. Let's see. So now it reckons we should do geophysics, which will give us... Reveals geothermal on the map. Geothermal well. Alright, let's do it then. Get the whole military stuff happening a bit more, I reckon. I just realized we actually have some Xenomass now. Oh, looks like somebody... Goddamn dog. Okay, so they killed the siege worm and now there's a skeleton there. Cool. All I need to do now is get um, an explorer over there. Luckily I do have one already on the way, that already going that way. Okay. I have a feeling that actually... Mm. Maybe I'll build one. Let's see, yep, so they can't go anywhere. Let's keep an eye on that. Looks like the purple guys are attacking the siege worm, are they? Nope, they're just sort of Venga. walking through. Volvamos los más ricos. Green guy! He wants to do borders, 
and he wants me to give him Xenomass. Why would I give you Xenomass? I'm the one that needs Xenomass. Tell you what, I'll get rid of the Xenomass. Gain favours. I don't know what that means. Like, what, what do you... What, when do you use a favour? Like, how does that work? Is it... So what, if I, like, if I need something in the future, I'll just be like, uh, remember that favour? I don't know. Uh, let me, let me know in the comments, peoples. What does that mean? What do favours do? Like, I'm, I'm gonna just say, nah, mate. Because I need Xenomass. The Xenomass I need. I can't just be throwing it away. I've only got two. This may be helpful. Oh my god. Stop telling me about damn trading units. I know. What? Ugh. Okay. Looks safe for now. Hopefully there's no... Okay, let's see. Which one's got more damage? Let's go attack that one. We'll do it! We can slowly whittle their health down and take them out. It might take the whole game to do it, but... Sure. Oh, we can do some more virtues. Awesome. We've got three left. So we've got... Food, production, improvements. I mean, culture. Terra escape improvements. I'm not sure. I, I probably have some. And this gives us energy. How is our energy doing? It's not great. It's in minus. A free colonist might be something we could do. I could... I could get the free colonist and then I could go grab that Xenomass. Although... Let's see. One, two, three. Actually, yeah. I could actually do that. Well, I want Xenomass. Actually, wait. There was Xenomass over here somewhere, wasn't there? Like, there's Xenomass there, which is why we have two... Where else was there Xenomass? I think there's some here. Right. Okay, so that's what I do. I'll get a free colonist. So we. Yep. So let's get the free colonist. And I'm gonna have him go. Apparently he recommends building there. I would... But I, I really want to get the Xenomass, so I'm going to have him go over this way. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. So he should be able to go there fine, and that shouldn't be any problem. Actually, what I'll do... Is I'll have... This guy sitting here. That way they can't... They can't, uh... Actually, no. I probably should have him on there. Like, on the Xenomass. Oh, well. So there's my colonist on his way. Uh, that's it, though. Uh, for, t for this episode... As always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought of the episode with a like or a comment. Uh, let me know what that uh, favor thing's all about. I mean, I could probably Google it or Wiki or whatever. But uh, if you know, that that would help. Is it is it really is it really good having the whole favors or should I just ignore it? I, I'm pretty sure with humans it's probably not as useful, but against comms, I'm going to assume the favors probably fairly okay. I just, I just don't know what it does, so I don't really want to 
throw away some Xenomass, not knowing what I'm getting in return. But yeah, uh, as always, if you want to see more videos, check out the channel or hit the subscribe button. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, links in description below. Until next time, the Down and the Gamer, I'll see you then.